Hey everyone, welcome along to this channel. In this Google Sheets CRM tutorial, I'm going to navigate through the process of how you can manage your sales process, your sales pipeline, and your customer's journey using our Sheetify CRM, which is an all-in-one Google Sheets CRM and business toolkit. If you're completely new to our Sheetify CRM, then what I'll do is add relevant tutorials down below in the description, which will help you learn more about this all-in-one Google Sheets CRM template and all the different features that you can leverage inside. Okay, so inside this Google Sheets CRM template, if we navigate down here, you can see we're currently on the contacts and leads sheet. If we navigate up here, you can see I've already added three contacts. And if we navigate across, you can see all of these records details. Now information like type, you can customize this in settings as well as with source. So all of these options as well as over here, for example, with the sales pipeline statuses, you can see we have these statuses over here. If you want to make changes to your sales pipeline statuses or you want to make changes to the source type as well as type over here, then simply navigate down the page and locate settings and click here. Again, under type, you can add your different types over here and this helps you categorize your records. For example, for your business type could mean customer type, business type, or even something else that's relevant to your business. So you can make changes here as well as source like I just showed you. You can add your team here and then we have the sales status down here. Now you want to keep lost one and new lead as they are. You do not want to edit these options. However, you can edit these options down here and add additional sales statuses if you like. And if we navigate back down and head over to our sales pipeline, you can see those statuses up here. So here are the sales stages. In our sales pipeline, we have one lost and over here we have the different stages. So we want to move our potential leads from qualified lead all the way through these different sales stages until they are won or lost. Okay, so let's navigate down the page and head back to contacts and leads. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you with this record, this contact, I'm going to move this contact into a paying customer. And I'll show you the process of doing that inside our Sheetify CRM, this Google Sheets CRM. Okay, so as you can see, I've added this contact, this records details up here. Then when we reach this purple area, this is in regards to our sales pipeline. So when is the sales due date? I'm going to double click here and navigate across and click on the 6th of June. Then navigate over to priority. Again, you can customize these in settings. I'm going to select medium, then navigate over to sales pipeline status. And because I've already had a conversation with this contact and they're interested in our offer, I'm going to select qualified lead. And as you can see, we have this notification here, update to sales status date. And you can see that date over here. Okay, so let's navigate over to value. This is the value of this sales deal. So in our case, that is $4,000. And for the purpose of this deal, I want to sell a basic web design package. And that's value is $4,000. Then if we navigate over to assigned, we can select who this deal is assigned to. I'm going to select myself. Again, you can make changes to these options in settings as well as to the currency type that automatically generates here when you add a value. Now under sales task, we can add a sales task. So think about the tasks that you need to engage in in order to move the qualified lead into deals discussed and through these different stages in your sales process. For example, if we navigate over to sales task, this could be as simple as calling the prospect and then we can add the sales task due date. I'm going to select tomorrow and then we can add notes in here. For example, I'm going to add, discuss the deal with Jack. Now with the sales task, what I can do is use our built-in feature called Taskify to send this task from this Google Sheets template to the Google Task app that you can access on your mobile device. For example, if I navigate over to Tasks, you can see under the sales task list, we have zero tasks. However, if we navigate over to Sheetify, then come down to Taskify and click on Sales Task, that's going to add this task to this task list. And you can see the details over here. And like I mentioned earlier, you can access this task from the mobile app, the Google Task app. Okay, so let's close this. And this is just for your own reference. Has the invoice been sent? You can click here. And then we have invoice status. If we click here, you can see that it's been paid. However, let's unselect these for now because this particular deal is currently in the qualified lead stage only. Now, if we navigate over here, you can see we have item which is product or service. And essentially what you wanna do is add your products and services that your business sells and add them to your Sheetify CRM. To do that, simply navigate down the page and locate inventory, click on inventory, and then under items, go ahead and add your service 
or products that you sell. Now I've quickly gone ahead and added two examples. We have a service that your business could sell. In our case, that's a web design basic package. And then we also have a physical product that we sell. If we were a different type of business, this could be commercial ovens, for example. You can see if you add a service and select service here, then NA will generate over here because it's not applicable. However, if you add product, then you want to add your SKU, your stock keeping unit, as well as this other information, like sales price, cost, and then you'll see the margin and markup pop up automatically. If you want to learn more about managing inventory and purchases, as well as transactions inside Sheetify, I'll add the relevant tutorials down below. Okay, so let's navigate back over to contacts and leads, and then navigate across, and then click on this drop down and select web design. Now let's navigate back over here and let's say we've had a conversation with this contact and we've completed this sales task and now we're onto details discussed. And you can see every time you update this status, you'll see this pop up down here. Now let's navigate over to the sales pipeline. This is a visual representation of your active deals. You can see we only have one active deal at the moment. The total value is 4,000 and then you can see the average deal value if you have multiple deals under the sales stage. Again, let's navigate back over to contacts and leads and let's navigate over here and let's say the invoice has been sent and the status is paid. So what I wanna do now is navigate over to details discussed and come down and click on one. If you have won a deal, you'll see this notification here. Congratulations, you have won this deal. Would you like to move this deal information into transactions and reset the sales pipeline? If we click no, all this data will remain the same However, if we click yes, then all this data will be reset. However, the data across here will be sent to transactions. Let's dive into this a bit further. I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes, and you'll see that notification down here. And you'll see that your data has been moved over to transactions. And if we navigate across here, you can see all your contacts information, the record data is still in here. Only the data under the purple columns has moved over to transactions. So let's navigate down and locate transactions and click here. And as you can see, under transactions, all of this data has been imported into orders and transactions. If we navigate across under item, you can see the package, the service that we sold to this contact over here. This is the account name associated to the record. The SKU is NA because this is a service. If we navigate across, we have one quantity because it's a service, the status here, which is one. Then here we have the date for won or lost. In our case, this is when we won this deal. And then over here, we have the sales pipeline value. Remember, we added 4,000. However, the inventory value is 5,000. Again, if we navigate over to inventory, you can see that we added the price of this item, of this service, as 5,000. And then we have the cost of this item, the cost of the service, and this could be the average labor time in building a website. Okay, so let's navigate back over to transactions. And then here we have the assigned sales or deal owner. And then you can add notes in here if you like. Now, once you're ready to archive this transaction and complete this transaction, simply navigate over to transaction status and you can see we have completed here. Now you'll notice all these other statuses that you can leverage. This is if you want to manually add the transactions in here. Let's say you don't wanna go through the process that I just showed you with the sales pipeline and the sales stages, then you can simply jump straight into transactions and orders and add the customer's details in here. Okay, so let's say for this deal, this transaction, the customer has completed the payment, we've completed all our discussions, and we're ready to truly complete this transaction this deal, then what we want to do is click on completed. And as you can see, customer data has been updated in customer snapshot. Nice job. And all this data will remain here. But what we can do now is navigate over to the customer snapshot, which is next to contacts and leads. And this is the interface that you can use to manage all your valuable customers. You can see the records account name, as well as the records email, the contact name over here, total completed tasks, which is zero at the moment. If you wanna learn more about adding client tasks, I'll add a tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Next to that, we have total jobs one, which is one at the moment, and the total revenue, which is the sales pipeline revenue, which the customer actually paid, and then total issues, which is zero. Now, for example, if we navigate back over to contacts and leads, and let's navigate up here, and with this same record over here, what I'm going to do is quickly add another deal in here and show you how that data is added to the customer snapshot. Okay, so I'm going to quickly fill out this deal information, 
and this time you can see I've quickly gone ahead and added this information similar to what I showed you before. However, this time I selected a product that I sell rather than a service. Now I'm going to navigate back over to price and negotiation. Remember, you can see all of this data inside your sales pipeline and you can see that data over here. Let's navigate back again like we did before. I'm going to navigate up here and click on one and then navigate down to yes, I want to move this data to transactions. And now let's navigate back over to transactions and you can see we have that data in here. We have the item, which is this product that we sold. You can see the records account name, the SKU, which is this number here, which we added in inventory. Again, you can find inventory down here. The quantity is one. And then if we navigate across, you can see the sales pipeline value as well as the inventory value. Now I'm going to navigate across and change the quantity to five. Now, when you change the quantity here, you'll notice that the inventory value will change. Also, if we navigate over to inventory, you'll see that we initially had 20 in stock. However, we now only have 15 on hand. That's because under transactions, we change the quantity to five. Five of these commercial ovens have been sold. And you can see we made a good sale here because the inventory value is this price over here, but we sold it for a little bit more. Again, I'm going to navigate over here and then click on completed. The payment's been made. And now we want to move this record into the customer snapshot over here. And remember, because we've already got data for this particular record, we can navigate across and you can see we now have two total jobs, one, and then the total revenue from the sales pipeline. Again, as soon as you click completed, that's going to move the sales data from that record, as well as some of the records information in here. And again, this is where you can simply manage your customers. However, that is how you can manage your sales pipeline, your sales processes, as well as your transactions inside this Google Sheets CRM. Again, if you want to learn more about our Sheetify CRM and all of the different tools and features that you can leverage inside, then again, you can find all the resources down below in the description.